This is a story, as we all know, between Musa alayhi salam and between Khadr. And by the way, uh, Khadr is an interesting character, and we have to talk a little bit about him before we get to the story. The, the word or the name Khadr is not his proper name. It is in fact a title, and of course it means green. And uh, Ibn Hajar and others, they say he was called Khadr because of his blessings wherever he went, the land would become green after him. That it would flourish, that Allah blessed him, that wherever he went, the land would become green. There are two major opinions in the Muslim Ummah about who is Khadr. One group, and in particular those groups that are involved in mysticism, they say that Khadr was wali min awliya illah. They say that Khadr was a saint, a buzurg, a peer. And they say that Musa alayhi salam was taught to study with this wali. And Khadr, according to this interpretation, many of this group, they say Khadr is a person who is living forever. He's still alive right now, according to this opinion. And he visits the sheikhs and the peers and the awliya, and he teaches them a secret knowledge. Why? Because Allah says in the Quran that, And they say this is al-ilm al-laduni. Al-ilm al-laduni. We taught him a knowledge. So this group says, this is a knowledge directly from Allah. And this is the position that some of the mystical groups have. In fact, pretty much all of the mystical groups. And this position has become so common that when Muslims hear the other opinion, they are amazed that there's actually another opinion out there. And the fact of the matter is that the position that Khadr is a wali and that he's still alive has no shred of evidence in the Quran in the Sunnah, in common sense, and in reason and intellect. It contradicts the Quran. Because Allah says, Kullu nafsin maut. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made the status of the Rasul and Nabi higher than the status of a wali. And it is not possible that Musa is less knowledgeable than a wali min awliya illah. This is simply not allowed to believe. Wali is existent. We believe in wali. And wali means a good person. But wali does not mean somebody who knows more than the Prophet. That the Prophets themselves have to humble themselves in front of a wali. And the position that Khidr is still alive contradicts the Sunnah. Why? Because the Prophet ﷺ, when he saw somebody reading the Torah and he's trying to find what Musa is saying, a Muslim, he said, if Musa had been alive, he would have no option but to come and follow me now. If this is the case of Musa, how about Khadr? If Khadr had been alive at the time of the Prophet it would have been wajib to come to the Prophet and give him bay'ah and be his follower. Also, we have the hadith in Bukhari that the Prophet once gave a khutbah in the middle of the night and there was a full moon and he said to the Sahaba that, do you see this night of yours now? Fawallahi, 100 years from now, not a single man who is alive on earth today will remain alive. And the last Sahabi died literally in the year 110 Hijrah. Literally. The last Sahabi, he died 110 Hijrah. And no man that was alive at that time, the Prophet said, Ala wajhil ard. Nobody who is alive on the face of this earth now will remain alive after 100 years. If Khadr had been alive then, he wouldn't be alive after 100 years. So it goes against the Quran. It goes against the Sunnah. It goes against common sense and reason and logic that no human being, no wali, no saint is going to be that knowledgeable that Musa, Kalimullah, Musa, the one whom Allah chose. Ya Musa, inna istafaytuka ala nasi bi kalami wa bi risalati. I chose you above all of mankind. That you then get a wali and then you tell Musa you have to go study with the wali. Rather, as Ibn Taymiyyah and as Ibn Kathir and as the real muhaqqiqin, the real researchers, they say, there is no doubt that Khadr was a Nabi min anbiya illahi ta'ala. He was a Nabi. He was somebody whom Allah had sent to another nation. And no doubt, every prophet has some knowledge another prophet does not have. And that's something we believe. Musa had a speciality, Isa had a speciality, Ibrahim had a speciality, Khadr has a speciality. So every prophet has some knowledge the other prophet does not have. And therefore, Musa has every right to ask Allah that can I study with Khadr because he's a fellow prophet. And this is proven by the Quran itself, when Khadr kills that child as we're going to come to, and he does all of his deeds, what does Khadr say to Musa? Ma fa'altuhu an amri. I didn't do this from my own command. Allah told me to do it. And Allah does not communicate except with prophets.
So beyond the shadow of a doubt. And also Allah is saying that وَعَلَّمْنَاهُ مِنْ لَدُنَّا عِلْمًا We taught him a knowledge from us. And who is there that Allah teaches directly other than the Prophets, right? So there is no question that Khadr was a Prophet and all of these superstitious tales and legends that Khadr is a green turban figure flying around in the air and he visits people. Wallahi brothers and sisters, our religion is more intelligent than this. Our religion does not believe in old wives' tales. Don't embarrass yourselves and your religion by quoting these tales to anybody else. Khadr is a prophet of Allah whom Allah had sent to another nation. He was not of the Bani Israel. Had he been from the Bani Israel, he would have been a follower of Musa. But he was sent to another nation. And the hadith in Sahih Bukhari says that once Musa stood up to give a sermon and one of the Bani Israel asked him, and you know they have a habit of asking these strange questions. So one of the Bani Israel asked him, O oh Musa, who is the most knowledgeable human being on earth? And so Musa didn't give too much thought and he assumed I must be the most knowledgeable. So he said, I am the most knowledgeable. And he has every right to assume this because Allah has chosen him like he has chosen no one else. And Allah has spoken to him directly and, and, and all of these different things. Immediately Jibreel came down. This is from Sahih Bukhari Hadith. Immediate, immediately Jibreel came down and Atabahu reprimanded him. How could you speak without knowledge? And subhanAllah notice, Musa made a very rational assumption. I mean, who should be more knowledgeable than him, right? Very logical assumption. But this assumption was not based upon what Allah had told him. He assumed. And you cannot assume when it comes to the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You cannot just imagine. And so immediately Jibreel came down and reprimanded him. How could you say that which you have no knowledge of? So Musa said, who has more knowledge than me? And so Allah told Jibreel to tell him, there is an abdam min ibadina, ataynahu rahmatan min indina, wa'allamnahu min ladunna ilma. There is a servant of ours, we have taught him that which you do not know. And his name is Khadr. So Musa says immediately, oh Allah, can you give me permission to go, to go meet him and study with him? And Allah says, go and study with him. Him. Musa says, where will I find him? So Allah says to him, go and take a fish. He told them where the location will be. And where you get to where the rivers meet and the fish disappears, where that fish disappears, that is where you will meet Khadr. Uh, the Prophet told us that Musa and Yusha, they went to the uh, Majma al-Bahrain. They went to where uh, the, uh, they were supposed to meet uh, Khidr. He undertakes a long journey. He left his people for the sake of learning knowledge. The sign, as we said, was the fish would disappear. When they got to this area, they fell asleep. And when they were asleep, the fish magically becomes alive and goes back into the, uh, the ocean. That was the sign where the fish leaves the, 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 the pot that they were carrying. The, the, the fish slipped away. And Yusha woke up, Musa woke up. They didn't check on the fish and they continued going. Or Yusha checked, but he forgot to alert Musa. Yusha checked, but he forgot to alert Musa. So they continue going. They continued going another day all the way to the end of the day and they've met the place. The area has been come but Musa thinks I still have the fish. Musa thinks the fish is still here. So he's wondering what's going on. So Finally, when they get to the end, Musa says, Atina ghada'ana, give us our dinner. Laqad laqina min safarina hadha nasaba. We are so tired after this long journey. What's going on? Where is this man? Where is the fish? Why is it not going? When he says this, Yusha remembers that. Do you remember when we rested at the rock? Do you remember we put our heads on the rock? I forgot to mention to you, the fish left us there. And it wasn't my fault. Shaytan caused me to forget. Shaytan caused me to forget to mention it to you. And that was when amazingly, Ajaba, because the fish resurrected, the fish became alive again. The fish amazingly slipped out and went into the ocean. And so Musa says, That's what we wanted. They walk the whole way back. What do we learn here? Not one word of reproachment. Can you imagine? Wallahi, if I, that had been me, I know how angry I would have been. If that had been me and that had been my son, la hawla khusila billah, right? How angry would have been? This is not even his son, this is his student. He spends the whole day, he's so tired, what does he say? We are fatigued, we're weary, I'm hungry now. And then Yusha says, I'm sorry, way back there. Not one word of reproachment. And this mirrors the example of our Prophet ﷺ, like Anas ibn Malik said, Khadimtu nabi ﷺ, ashra sanawat. Ten years I was in the service of the Prophet ﷺ, and never once did he say, why did you do this? 
this? Or why did you not do this? Never once did he hit me. Never once did he speak harshly with me. These are the prophets of Allah. He made an honest mistake and Musa says to him, okay, that's what we wanted. Let's go back where we started from. Subhanallah, modesty, humility, humbleness, and inshallah time is over. We will continue tomorrow. We hope you will continue to enjoy our content. Don't forget to subscribe. And by pressing the bell next to the subscribe button, you will receive updates and notifications. Thank you.